Keisha and Regina. They are back. They're back from two months of suspension. I said in the past that get one last chance to behave themselves. When they blow the chance, they're gone. The bitches are back. I wouldn't be surprised if they cause another fight with any of us. My. God. I gotta tell Principal Moonlight about this. She will be pissed as shit. As soon as I noticed the folder that's falling off of Keisha's backpack, and I ran over to pick it up, I noticed the photos that are absolutely terrifying. Son of a bitch. Holy shit. Keisha Gibson. She plans to murder Jessica Andrews. Oh my god. Keisha. She's given one last chance. But now, she crossed the major line this time. She's committing a crime by planning to murder a certain student we know and love. It's absolutely scary and heartbreaking. So, what's gonna happen? We have Keisha attempting to commit murder, and we don't know what will Regina be doing to get sent away. Mimi has to come up with a plan as a solution to this scary situation very fast. So, I have this plan figured out. During second period, I will call the police. Once the police arrives, you bring Keisha to the main office and have her wait there until we're ready to get her ass arrested. Understood? Yes, Absolutely. ma'am. All right, back to work. Jace, do me a favor. It is now second period. Now's the time to send Keisha out of the picture. I really hate to tell you this, Miss Andrews, but we thought we'd let you know because you're the victim here. I didn't think that was gonna happen, but what Keisha's trying to do is unforgivable. She was just mad that she got suspended for calling Jojo the N-word, and Keisha takes it out on me. Keisha messed up big time. We are so over her. Hi, this is Principal Moonlight from Moonlight High School. We need police at 613 Moonlight Avenue. We'd like to report Keisha Gibson attempting to commit murder to a student. First, Heather and Amber were the main targets of bullying. And now Jessica because of Keisha crossing the major line this time. But I'm not going to let that happen. We're going to show the police the evidence and Keisha's got to go. All right, bring her over here. Have her wait here. Miss Andrews, you come with How us. How are you guys doing? Keisha's actions really caught up to her so fast. And now we have Regina on our hands. The police has arrived. I need to tell them what's been happening and show them the evidence. So just wait here, Miss Gibson. Not now. Keisha has no idea what's going on. We have to keep her waiting at the main office until we're ready to have her ass arrested I said not now turn your mics off we show them the photos of Keisha planning to kill Miss Andrews a senior student who is a class of 2022 valedictorian all right let me just bring her in here Keisha Gibson is a fucking criminal Miss Gibson. I'm bringing her into my office. Where I have police waiting for her. We gotta ask you a question Miss Gibson. Good riddance, you fat fuck. She knew she was in trouble. Once we walked through that door. Keisha were you threatening to kill Miss Andrews? Tell me the truth. She said. Yes I was. The cops reaches into her pocket and her backpack and pulls out an assortment amount of weapons. 
she even confessed to stealing a blade from her older brother, and she mentioned about him bringing it with him to go camping with his friends and his girlfriend who's autistic. I almost had a fucking heart attack. You go this way. Keisha is one of the three stooges. An 11th grader, in which she's never going to graduate next year. Because of Keisha committing a crime, she's doing the time. I immediately expelled her for good. So now, we have Regina taking her turn. Could she be working with someone? If she was, it could be anyone. I'm assuming it could be Regina. I don't know. Good riddance. Mm-hmm. <laughs>